now it's moving out to multiplayer. It seems like the other side of this two-headed dog. You yes. saw it, and it's apparently, in terms of overall like meta progression and stuff, it's super different than the first game. Yeah, so I, um, the actual interview I had at Star Wars Celebration was about multiplayer, um, and the biggest change is going to be the progression system. They're trying to give it more longevity and trying to keep you coming back to multiplayer, um, and with that, they're giving uh, both troopers and heroes progression, and then that progression unlocks kind of um, customization. I mean, obviously, like Darth Maul is going to be Darth Maul. Like, you're not going to be like, I am Darth Maul with a gun, you know. But like, mm-hmm. um, you you're going to be able to. Um, give them sort of a career. And then they also talked about wanting this quote here. This is um, uh, Bern Dimer, um, who I talked to um, from DICE, and uh, they wanted heroes to not just be like quick pickups. Uh, they didn't really specify, but it was he talked about um, a resource-based system that, um, as you can see here, gives them a little bit more uh, presence, more like, s- he sort of described it as being like weightier, like having them kind of occupy more space on the field. And I wasn't exactly sure what that meant, um, but it seems like it's going to be uh, a little easier or just different. The process of getting heroes is gonna be different. As opposed to just those tokens that just yeah, pop up. Exactly. Which are random. And I, I, I remember when I covered uh, Scarif, I like could not <laughs> find the, you know, uh, Generoso. Icon, like I would stalk and wait for an area, and I would see guys like doing the same thing. It's you know you're not participating at that point in the first mm-hmm. Battlefront uh, Rogue One DLC. You mean correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so did you get to see the progression system in action? Was was this all just uh, kind of them telling you about it? No, this was just talking to um, people from Motive and Dice. Um, there's we really don't have a lot of footage. The only thing we got from multiplayer from that trailer was just seeing different heroes that are going yeah. to appear. Um, like the trailer says, it's heroes from all eras. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to clarify, people watching this live right now, this is the first Battlefront from EA and Dice. This yeah. is uh, we just we don't have much footage from the second one, so we threw this up to com- uh, compare it. Kind of, you know, you pick up a token, then depending on the planet, you get the hero. In this case, Luke Skywalker on Hoth. Yeah. Um, but as Kelly's saying, it's more tied to uh, d- just like completing different actions, maybe in a more battlefield kind of way. Right? You don't have to just maybe? get kills to contribute to something. You I can mean- actually like be a support character, a healer, maybe. Because uh, Bern Dimer, whose quote was up earlier, um, he's from DICE, uh, I would imagine maybe there's some sort of connection there with how it works in Battlefront. I don't know. Yeah. I, or Battlefield. Um, it, it really wasn't clear. And I, I was like, oh, well, our heroes specific to planets? And they were like, maybe. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. Um, the other cool thing is that troopers are, are specific to the location and era you're on because they're trying to keep it more... I think you said more authenticity. Um, the aesthetic of the soldiers are, but not the yeah. loadouts. You can those are carry across planets. Yeah, so it's basically a skin, and your the, that's tied to the progression system. So your career trooper is going to be the same. You're not going to have to like restart because now I'm in the Clone Wars era, right. and now I have to start over. I think they even mentioned on their site that they'll have separate modes uh, catered to like the mix and match of like Darth Maul. And Kylo Ren, yeah. <laughs> you know, hitting the town. Like, I think they'll have at least those <laughs> separate going modes. out for some just martinis going and out. some cosmos. Shooting the shit. Kylo hey, Ren is such a Miranda. <laughs> 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 so, Darth Maul's yeah. a Samantha, maybe? Exa- nah. Carrie? He's, He's a Carrie? I don't know Sex in the City that two, well, right? but I, this is Battlefront 2, correct? Yes. Count Dooku on uh, Tatooine. It's kind Look of at that little interesting. Guy. Who's that little guy? <laughs> no, just joking. Uh, I've, I'm into the more like if Count Dooku was a character on Friends, who would he be? Oh my god, he is such a Ross. Like I've never thought about that until now. Mace Windu would be such a Monica. <laughs> oh, is this just Hero Brawl? The yeah, okay. I was mode. wondering. I was like, why are they all there? Um, yeah, I'm all like, they'll definitely do that. It sounds like, but on the flip, I would I would really hope that they have uh, game mode or or playlists that are uh, you know stripped maybe of these heroes because that's mm-hmm. just yeah something yeah. I I personally don't really care for. Yeah, I, yeah. I really, really, we t- I've talked about this every time that we've talked about Battlefront 2 so far. I hope that they borrow f- from things what they did with Battlefield 1, both of them being uh, something DICE worked on. Um, but, like, the first Battlefront was very, if you're a Star Wars fan, it was fun for a few hours, at least it was for me. But then after a while, it kind of just lost its substance, and I felt like it was all just spectacle, surface appeal. I hope they're actually, maybe the progression system will help. I know progression systems are nothing new, and I know that's kind of become a staple since, like, Modern Warfare. Right. Um, I still think that could give it the legs that the first one didn't have. I agree. I, I mean, I think I think they recognize that, and I think they're taking steps to rectify that with Battlefront 2. Um, but, I mean, 
I, I agree with Rob. I would rather have an option to just kind of not have heroes. Although they did mention that um, one of the things they they took care to do was not make heroes feel overpowered. They wanted, if you d- weren't playing a hero, to be able to take down a hero, like feel like you were on a level playing field. So I'm a little, I'm not exactly sure how that will work. Um, I, we just really need to see more of it in action, I think. But um, as far as what they're saying, um, with what's changed, it seems like they've recognized the problems with the first Battlefront. Yeah, we talked about it last week, Pete, and you said that you were kind of tired of seeing like Han Solo corkscrewing across the battlefield and just... just that move specifically <laughs> I love. No. Yeah. <laughs> Though it was the Emperor doing barrel rolls. Right. That's what it was. And then Han Solo was just... I don't know. What was he doing? Sitting just against a tree, questioning the meaning of life. Dapper. You're still on that Bigfoot, Bigfoot. thing, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, you're still thinking Have you not moved on since then? <laughs> so I haven't said anything. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the other thing about the progression system too now that I'm thinking about it is with battle, the last Battlefront was that everything was locked behind a currency. And that's including, you know, I mean, here it is. You had hut contracts. You had to basically, um, like, I think it was just too much maintenance and work opposed to just like, you know, the subconscious idea of like the more I play, I'm just going to unlock more weapons opposed to like, all right, well, I have, you know, 2,000 credits, whatever it is. Where am I going to put that? I sure as hell I'm not going to put it into any cosmetics. <laughs> like that's one thing, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I never got or played as much as I would have uh, to the point where it was like, all right, you know what? I've unlocked, <laughs> I've unlocked everything. Now it's time to maybe focus on like how I look as a stormtrooper. Sorry, I don't know uh, who captured this, but that was pretty dumb to call that in while you're in the middle of the hallway getting shot. He's going to be dead by the time he's back. Well, maybe he knew he was going to die and he bounced out. Maybe it was you capturing it. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, excuse me, when you get in the vehicle, you disappear, so I just saved my ass. Oh, That's what John I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. He just John saved Luke is John chiming Luke. in saying, Defense. I forgot. In this game, you're not, you're immediately safe. It's a get out of jail free card. You warp to a TIE fighter. That makes sense. I don't know why I'm calling out the logic in Star Wars, but it's all good. Yeah. It's uh, always been physically sound, Star Wars. It's not like hard sci fi, but it's, it's still. It's fantasy, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah. And here's space battles. And, you know, what's nice is that, uh, you know, Criterion, who made the VR uh, X Wing mission, they get like w- from the ground up reworked all the flight controls and they f- they felt so much better compared to uh, the vanilla game. Yeah. yeah. I do have some questions about Battlefront, uh, some of from the story that I get, didn't get to earlier. But uh, Grant Wilson on Twitter was asking Do we think Battlefront 2 will keep the bad guys the bad guys or will they switch sides? Uh, do you think they're going to stick to that? Like, uh, are you are the empire, the whole thing, or is it going to end up just becoming this no, moral it, gray ground? It it really seems like they're trying to give you a different perspective and not just frame the empire as, as objectively bad. It, it's more like see where they're coming from sort of thing, I think. It's not like gray Jedi stuff. On like a personnel um, level, probably more than anything, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So this is uh, Mark Thompson from Motive Studios. Um, and yeah, so Iden, they're... Like he says here, um, they're trying to just kind of put you in somebody else's shoes, and it's not clear if they're going to, uh, like, I mean, I imagine that maybe there'll be like a come to Jesus moment where you're like, oh man, the emperor was real bad. I don't know, mm-hmm. but um, so, but it seems like they're they're taking a nuanced approach with it. Was it Rob? Was it you? Not to keep making comparisons to like Band of Brothers, but there's that episode of Band of Brothers where they're in uh, Austria and kind of, you know, or no Bavaria, and they're just saying kind of looking at what it meant to be like a boots on the ground soldier for the the Nazis as opposed to this like third Reich officer and then it's, that's also when like Germany had collapsed at that point and the allied forces were across the Rhine and everything kind of reminds me of something like that like mm-hmm. the downfall mm-hmm. I don't know because I mean like stormtroopers and whatnot always being kind of like a stand-in for Nazis <laughs> well yeah. yeah I mean there's a difference between being I mean like an 18 year old kid on the German side is the same as an 18 year old kid on the American side you know so it's uh it's sort of a similar vein, but Iden is a commander, mm-hmm. so she has more power than Spec the average. Stuff too. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. she's more than than the average stormtrooper, and so yeah. maybe that'll be the difference. Maybe they'll examine that. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just like World War Two. Like it's a series of just propaganda and brainwashing. Like you're mm-hmm. led to believe the emperor is awesome. Well, well, Force <laughs> Awakens. Remember when uh, when Finn is showing signs of kind of. <laughs> you just got a poster of him on your ceiling when well, you're sleeping? God, that's, oh uh, that's something they actually said, is that the kind of character they're trying to build here, the Inferno Squad, which is um, the Iden Squad, is kind of the, the people you would put on the propaganda poster to inspire 
uh, you know, empire kids to want to fight for the emperor. Like that's the kind of character they're going for. So Kushu Rai in the chat, Twitch chat. I know what I'm talking about. It's Band of Brothers. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you just his point, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've seen Band of Brothers. You know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then go watch it. All right, cool. Or, or I was gonna say, go check out the uh, subreddit. I think it's a subreddit called "The Empire." The Empire did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there are people who just, uh, just yikes scan and scour all of the movies and just look for like, see, like, like, they're, <laughs> like you know the whole thing about the Death Star. That's I think this is now not considered canon, but that the Emperor made the Death Star because uh, every like ten thousand years. This like out just very much the plot of Mass Effect. No, I swear you've <laughs> the never Reapers this. come along. Yeah, they come and they like wipe out the whole universe or the galaxy, so the death, or even like he Halo. was prepping for that. The yeah. Halos the were Halos. created to destroy the. It's really food. funny. Well, yeah, it was, yeah, there was a whole book or something like that I, on it. I found that really interesting. I, ah. you know, I really love the dark side. I was always a Darth Vader girl. Mm -hmm. I had a crush on Anakin Skywalker. I will admit oh. that he's dreamy. I had the biggest crush when he's. That's when he's middle aged. What has happened? <laughs> when he's on Musafar and he's like, no, yeah, oh my god. No, so I, hot. Yeah, I have the so high ground, Callie. The Empire could, I would, sure, they, they did some things wrong, now but I'm maybe nauseous. not all the things. All right. Anyway, if you're in the Twitch chat, YouTube chat, if you're watching this afterwards on YouTube, let us know what you think of Battlefront 2, whether you plan on playing multiplayer, whether you're excited for the campaign, uh, whether you're excited to see things from the Empire's perspective. Uh, let us know.